Greetings, we're going to take a look at how we can add some lines with arrowheads to a Photoshop document and then add some text. Um, there really isn't any easy good way to do this in Photoshop I've found um, except for using a few of the uh, vector shape tools in here and then going from there. So let's just jump right in here and go ahead and do this. Right now I've got my color in my color panel set to red because that's the color I want my lines. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go below the type tool here and there's a little tool here. I'm going to press on, these are all what are called vector shapes. A little bit different than normal Photoshop stuff because they're based upon uh, anchor points and paths which are called vectors. I'm going to take my line tool. I'm going to come up in the upper left hand corner. I'm going to make sure I'm on my shape layer option. I'm going to come over on a little arrow here. It says geometry options. I'm going to come down. I'm going to make sure there's a check mark by the end toggle box here. I had an arrowhead at the end of the line when I draw it out. I'm going to keep um, my defaults. Next thing I'm going to do is come over here to my weight and I'm going to put in about 10, 12 pixels. And I'm just going to stroke out an, an arrow here. I'm going to press and drag and take a look at it and say to myself, well, that looks pretty good. Um, there's this funny shadow around that, and that's because it's a vector shape. I can turn that off in a second. But that's about the size um, and color I want to use for the weight of my line. So now that I've drawn one of these out, um, I can have to do one little special thing. I'm going to come over my layers panel and this is a very specific kind of shape in Photoshop called a vector shape. Again it's not based upon pixels yet it's based upon uh, mathematical points. Now I need to convert that to uh, some pixels to make it easier for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click I'm going to come down and I'm going to rasterize this layer. And that basically just says I'm going to take whatever the vector shape is and I'm going to convert it to Photoshop pixels. Now I can take my move tool and I'll just move this around wherever I want to. Uh, there's no way to really lengthen this. There really isn't. Uh, if you want a longer one, then you got to draw it out that way. It may be easier to draw out a longer one and then take the eraser tool and kind of erase what I don't want of the arrow. But there's really no easy way to make that um, extend that arrow line out. So there I've got that one done. So now if I was going to do another one I'd take my uh, vector shape line tool here. It remembers all the same parameters of shape layer and line and arrowheads and weight and I'll just draw out another line to point here. And you know what? I'm just going to keep dragging these out where I want to add some labels. Whoops. Undo. Control Z. Alright. So let's say I've got some arrowheads down here. I'm going to come over to my layers panel. And I'm going to select all of these what are called shape layers. I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to click on the bottom one. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to rasterize every one of those layers. Now every one of these layers are just pixel based. So I can take the move tool and I can press and drag. Now I got to make sure I'm on the right layer. <laughs> now I'll give you a little tip here. You can do this one of two ways you could come up in the tool panel up at the top up here there's a little item here called auto select and I'm going to pick layer so now when I come over and click it automatically senses what pixels that layer is on so I can move it around now if you turn off auto select you're gonna to have to come over in the layers panel and figure out by turning maybe on the eyes on and off for visibility which one you're working with. So either way whatever one works for you, whoops I'm on the wrong layer, little little hunting process here and I still didn't pick it. Here we go, bear with me here, I gotta find that one. Click on that layer where it belongs and then go. 
So if you want to, just remember to turn it off. You can go up into the control panel up here where it says auto select, make sure it's on layer, and then you can go ahead and grab a hold of these little items and move them around. Now, let's say I have this arrowhead here, and um, let's see, I'll click on this one and move it over here for now. Let's say I want to use this arrow, but it's not pointing in the right direction. It's the right length, possibly, it's just not in the right direction. So I'm going to use my transform tools to transform those pixels on that layer. So I'm going to go edit, transform, rotate. Then I'm going to come out on the outer corners and I have a little curved arrow. Allows me to move this around and also what it really allows me to do, best of all, is it allows me to rotate this and aim it in a different direction. So as soon as you're satisfied with where it's at, you can just go ahead and hit the enter key and now you get out of the transformation mode. Now you're back in the regular mode and you can reposition it and you can move it around. Not a problem whatsoever. So if you have to rotate one, we're going to pick that particular item. We're going to click on it. That selects that layer because you've got auto select on. You're going to go to tr edit transform. Now, I'm a, right now I'm going to tell you the keyboard shortcut for transform. You've got to remember it. It's control T transform. It's really easy to remember. Just think of T for transform and then you can just move this puppy around. Position it where you want. Hit the enter key. Now that's fine and good. Now I want to add some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my type tool and I've set up Myriad Pro Bold 24 point left justified red same as my um, arrows and I'm going to click where I want to add maybe a label. I'm just going to go in here and name this uh, label 1. Take my move tool put this right over here as you know in the layers panel it made a new layer for that one uh, because I have the auto select on with the move tool it automatically picks it up and I can move it anywhere I want to. Another cool thing I can hold the alt key down drag on this move it over to here I can drag one over to here I can drag one over to here and every time or if I keep the alt key down it's making duplicates of those text layers then I can go back with my type tool and make sure you get the I beam over it and then double click and then just go ahead and change the name if you want to in this case maybe I'll just change the numbers it's just easier as soon as you get the type done, you've got to hit enter to accept it, just like a transform. You can go ahead, enter to select it, to accept it, I should say. Put it in there, hit enter, and now I've got these labels and I can move them around. So notice we drew out a bunch of shapes, vector shapes. We put them where we wanted to, we got them kind of the length we wanted them, and then we actually selected them all by holding the shift key down, and then we right mouse clicked and we picked the item called rasterize layers. That made it so I could move them around, I can use the eraser tool to shorten them. Uh, I turned on my move tool, I turned on auto select, so it senses what I'm clicking on when I move this around. Remember, well, there's no good way to lengthen it once it's drawn. You can take the eraser and you can erase part of it. Uh, you can use the transform tool, control T, to rotate it if you wanted to and then move it around. And then hit the enter key to accept it. Then if I want some text, I can cheat. I can get the move tool, come over, click on one of my pre-existing layers, hold the alt key down, and drag a copy over here. Get the type tool by hitting T. Highlight that too. Give it a name. Hit enter. So there's kind of a crash course, I think, on the best way to go ahead and add these labels. Um, Again, every one of the arrow shapes are going to be on a separate layer. 
every one of the text items was going to be on a separate layer. So if you turn on the move tool by clicking on the arrow and then you go up to the tool panel where it says auto select up here in the upper left layer, it makes it really handy for you to go ahead and do that. Now one last thing. What if I want to select this layer and the text that goes with it and move it around? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this arrow. I'm going to hold the shift key down and click on this label. And notice a beautiful thing happens. In the layers panel, it has selected both layers because I held the shift key down. And now you can move these around in tandem. You could alt click and duplicate them if you, even if you wanted to. So just know if you want to move its label by clicking on it, shift key, click on its arrow. They're both selected in the layers panel. You can see it right over here. They both will move and then they're actually separate items you can click off and then click on one if you want to reposition it. Really no good way in Photoshop to handle this and this is I've been struggling with this and this is the best way I've found so far. Thank you.